Hi everyone and welcome to today's card tutorial. Now this card is a slimline card that I'm making today and it's all about coffee for the spring summer coffee lovers hop. Wow Embossing Powder is donating a super sponsor prize and a gift card to the huge lineup of sponsors for to this week's hop. It starts March 19 and I am vibing my pastel -y type of colour combo. The reason why, and I, I was inspired by the uniquely creative paper pack from the Outback collection. Now, Outback Divine collection and I'm using the splendid paper. I love it's got almost like a faux glitter throughout this actual paper. So this is the paper I've chosen. So I'm vibing my pastel -y colors as well as from the Uniquely Creative, I'm using the, tri the triple circle um, die. I will put the product descriptions, uh, uh, the supplies in my product description below but I love how it's got like the stitch edging. I have chosen my coffee cup from the Catherine Pooler Life Love Latte. Don't make me repeat it. Um, and the sentiment, it's gonna be from Avery L Cool Beans because I love the sentiments that really coordinate well. Um, I am vibing this coffee cup and I'm heating bossing it with the metallic brass. Now the metallic brass is almost like an underrated type of embossing powder, but it is amazing. If you want that muted type of gold, this is it. I love it. I use it to, in replacement of my gold, so it's a, uh, muted, a little bit more dull, but it still has that metallic sheen. Um, and I love I'm loving it. I need to use it more. I do it's just my alternative to my gold And I think it matches the actual pastel range Part of the pastel range I'm using is the distress oxide tatted rose. Isn't it a beautiful pink? I love this pink now not only am I stamping with this I'm going to color it. So I'm doing almost like a really rough type of color with my Distress Oxide um, Tattered Rose and Weathered Wood, which I'll bring into view soon. I'm, cu I'm coloring in the cute little Petiti Hearts in and I've picked up the ink, swipe the ink on a craft mat and then I'm picking it up with a pencil brush. It's a watercolor pencil brush. And then here comes the weather wood and I'm making it really rustic. None of this is perfect. Like I'm just making it a really kind of rustic type of look and watercolor. I didn't want to put any pressure on myself with watercoloring. I just wanted to make sure I match these kind of colors with the papers. And that's where I'm stemming from. So keeping it light, two of them, I'm going to color in the actual um, cuff of the copy cup coffee cup and then the actual coffee cup itself because the actual slimline die has three circles die cut out of it I wanted to have three coffee cups now part of this I'm also real I didn't even realize I was out of view so I'm like oh let's continue on um, but I do end up realizing I'm out of view <laughs> okay my voice is still husky because I've been very, very unwell. Um, just flu symptoms, well, not COVID. Um, but I feel like I'm still trying to get my voice intact. So do excuse my voice. I mean, if you think it's like a really husky, cool voice, then I'm not excusing it. I take it back. Now, what I want to do is do a little bit of a peekaboo with the actual coffee beans. Um, this does get a little bit muted um, because of the ink seeping into the actual card base. So I love this kind of scattered pattern of the beans. I feel like it adds to that coffee element of today's theme. And I wanted to have just that kind of feature to elevate the coffee theme onto my card today. So I randomly stamp. There's no like 
method there's no pattern um, I just use the actual die cut as a template so you know I'm staying within the circles in a way and then I would adhere this all down with foam tape and foam squares I'm kind of mapping it out where I think it's going to be placed um, and then I heat emboss the sentiments the sentiment on a white strip of cardstock again with the metallic brass so kind of making things matchy matchy that's how I roll <laughs> all right I've got a scrap piece of paper that's kind of my go-to method of catching the rest of the embossing powder excess and being able to funnel it back into my jar and this one says I love you a latte yes I do guys that's all to it to my followers out there so thank you all right so I've got my heat setting too it's a must when you want to heat set and melt the embossing powder this here is white cardstock nothing fancy I'm just making sure that oh yeah one I can get it into view um, but two it's heat embossed so you can read the font and then I figured yep I'm happy with this placement so I adhere everything down I'm also using uniquely creative adhesive now if you did not know uniquely creative is an Australian company they have fabulous papers stamps scrapbooking kits dies and so I thought I'd give them a little bit of feature on my YouTube channel okay now that's it isn't it simple i hope you enjoyed today's card creation now to for the coffee lovers link it's all going to be in my product description below so happy crafting everyone if you liked See today's you later. video tutorial please give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel i really appreciate your support and thank you for watching have a lovely day